Drew and Stu are on the air. Ready? Ready? Whether you're fading with Drew or riding with Cam, this is the place to get your weekly NFL picks. Everything you got, let's go. All right, here we go. Three, two. Hello and welcome to the divisional round, week two, not week two, no, episode two of the week. Uh, what a disaster. Cam had me laugh before we came on air. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, you're making so much money. I thought you were looking after your kid, but apparently you hit so many bets, uh, you can afford daycare. Good well, work. yeah, Cam, imagine I had my toddler running around while I was trying to work all day. It'd be a disaster. Can you, can you put them in one of those, like, not like kid jails, but like a little, like, some area where they can kind of roam and play with stuff? She but... would be free. She's she's too old for that. She'd be yelling at me. Oh, okay. See, I don't know the I don't know the age. and So she's not at the age where you just, like, Play like a carousel and they'll hit like no, the that's stars like and infants. the bears. She's two and a half, so she's already oh, okay. talking and running around. That's a and problem. Like She'll be stuff. biting your ankles and cutting wires and stuff. No, no need for yeah, that. Yeah. It'd be, Dad, put this on the TV. Dad, do this. Dad, do that. Yeah, like, good no, point. leave me alone. Yeah, daycare. Oh, well, see, Drew. Not, oh, you're always telling me, oh, I got to get up so early and the kids and whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I. I well, I get up to bring the kid to daycare. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, fair. All right. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to episode two of the week, the divisional round. Uh, we got some changes to make. Uh, not yep. many. Cam's going to change his minerals for you. I'm going to stick to mainly what I said on Tuesday. Then we're going to give you some props, talk about the news, uh, and everything else to do with week, uh, the divisional round of the playoffs. And we're going to give you a crazy touchdown part at the end where we each take one guy from the game, make it eight players. Maybe it'll be 100 to one. We'll see. Uh, but we'll start off, Cam, with Bill Belichick getting a second interview in Atlanta. It looks like that's where he's going to land. What do you think of that destination for Bill? I think it's actually a really interesting and cool spot because Atlanta's got a situation where, you know, they've been, you know, losing in the Super Bowl, but after that, just kind of a middling team, right, Drew? Mm -hmm. Ritter really hasn't worked out. They pick up Heineke. They have parts on that team. And I think Arthur Blank understands Bill Belichick, a team that beat them in heartbreaking fashion in the Super Bowl. Also, I was also thinking about this, and I did a couple other shows, and we don't know about like Tua and obviously there's a lot of things that could happen in the NFL. I'm just, we are just kind of spitballing ideas because the Dolphins have to make a decision on him. Imagine Tua going to Atlanta in SEC country. It makes sense. Cam, the Dolphins will let it happen. He couldn't take being coached by Belichick. I feel like he'd start crying or something. Like he really? wouldn't be really. Nah. Oh, come on. Here's the thing. You're dealing like he he's dealing with Mac Jones, who's a tool in Zappy. Now you got a guy. Like, I'm just saying. Hmm. I guess two did deal with Saban as well. Saban's probably worse. But my my whole my whole point is, I think Atlanta is one of those destinations where I don't know what's going to happen with the other teams, but I can see Belichick being able to do the things he wants to do. Like Dallas, Jerry Jones is always going to be there. That's and and they hired McCarthy, so maybe like, yeah. if McCarthy has another year, I don't even know if Bill's going to be around that long, but. Atlanta looks to me, it's a spot where I think we can have a happy medium between management, coach, GM, and all the other parts. Do you know well, I think Bill will be given full control. I think you're yeah. GM and head coach. And then I, the thing I like the most about this spot for him is the NFC South sucks, Cam. We're seeing Tampa oh. in round two of the playoffs. They're not a great football team. Again, if you look at the AFC now, you got Lamar, uh, Allen, Mahomes, Joe Burrows in the AFC. Like The gauntlet you have to go to to win in the AFC in the playoffs is insane. Yeah, look or at in the NFC. Division. He's going to deal with the Bills with Allen and Miami. That's and the what Jets I mean. Are have so now Rogers. he's in the NFC where it's just like, all right, all I got to do is win 10 games and I'm it's good to true. go. Like, yeah, I think, I, I think he's laughing. a really good spot. What do you think about Harbaugh and the Chargers? Do you think that's going to actually happen? I don't think it's going to happen. I think he's doing that whole stupid weasel move to get Michigan to give him more money. I don't think he's going to leave. Well, uh, the thing is, he doesn't even have to do a weasel move. Michigan's going to – like, he, you can make a statue with the guy. They won the national championship. Well, did you so see what he said, what though? He he's like, if I come back to Michigan, I want a firing immunity. I'm here for until I decide I'm not here. I was like, pfft. That's a that's a crazy contract. If well, they give you know that. what though? After winning the national championship, they might say, "Yeah, okay, why not?" Just come as long as you want. Doesn't matter. I think Washington is an interesting destination, even though it's not going to happen. I think it would be really cool because his brothers in in Maryland and Washington and Mar like Washington D.C. and Baltimore are like right by each other. Like it's a perfect destination if they wanted to like be closer <clears> to family type of thing. But yeah, I mean, I just don't. If you're going to leave college, you go to a, a team that has a quarterback like Justin Herbert and the Chargers. I just don't know if he's like if he's the LA guy. Like he left San Fran. He's already been in California. He didn't really like it. Um, he wanted to return to the East Coast in college. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't buy it until I see it happen. I think he's just going to using this to leverage Michigan to give him more money. But mm -hmm. I mean, how much more leverage do you need besides the national championship? 
Anyways, Cam, let's get into your mineral switches. So we start off the week. You had uh, the Ravens as your bronze, the Packers 49ers under as your silver, and the Bills were your gold. You will be switching your gold to the Ravens minus nine and a half to match my gold pick. Explain to the viewers why. First of all, one apology. I did, Drew, you know I do early videos, and one of them has me taking Houston over Baltimore, but that was filmed literally on Monday. So mm-hmm. I'm sorry. That's like literally out of the gate. On That was my initial lean. So I've just come around to your Baltimore play. The more I think about it, Lamar and his failures, everything that's been wrong with Baltimore, I think will go right. They have mm-hmm. extra time to get all their team healthy. Harbaugh will come up with some kind of game plan and package. What does Houston rely on? Big plays. That's very hard to do against Baltimore. That's one thing. They don't give up the big one, right? Like you got a nickel and dime. I don't think it's really going to work against them. As for Lamar, what do you, how do you beat Houston? The air. And they have so many weapons. Even if Andrews isn't 100%, we'll get to him later. You have Likely and him. You have decoys. Beckham's playing better. Zay Flowers is a monster. Like, Gus, like, I just look at Baltimore's offense. Even Justice Hill, Drew, he's kind of like it's a true. poor man's cook. Like, you ding, you give him the ball. Like, Justice Hill was a maniac. He's very fast. Like, at Oklahoma State, like, Tyree Kill is the fastest. But Justice Hill was a very, like, he's a burner. Like if you look and this at him, is what they paid field. Odell for, Cam. They gave yeah. Odell all that money, and he's been doing meh all year. You paid yeah. him for the playoffs. So I, I like the little hint. I like his prop to be over 29 yards. Uh, Great in this call. Game. Great call, Drew. And you remember in the Super Bowl versus Cincy before he got hurt. He was all probably going to win MVP. MVP. Yeah, I yeah. agree. See, everything we're saying there. So I think Baltimore wins this game by 17, even with the backdoor cover. Like, you know what I mean? If it's 10, whatever. I just, the nine and a half is good. I like Baltimore. I just think. Drew, my score, I kind of came up with, like, I like the under. I, I think, I don't know if the Houston scores more. I'm thinking, like, 16 and Baltimore gets, like, 27, 30. Like, I think they cover. Like Yeah, weirdly, teams teams coming off a of bye, all, like, win by double digits, like, always. It's like an 80% clip that the teams coming off a of bye, like, slaughter the team that's coming into them. Because the extra rest matters, Cam. Uh, it's it does. big time. And, like, this is a big moment for Houston. If Houston can pull off this upset, that'd be the biggest upset of the season in my mind. Like, I don't see another game being bigger. I, like, Packers well, beating the 49ers would be less surprising than Houston beating really? Baltimore. Really? I yes. think the Packers beating the 49ers would be a little bit more. But I think Baltimore's better than San Fran, though. That's Yeah, well, they beat them this year, but we'll see if they meet again, which everyone thinks it's going to be a Baltimore-San Francisco Super Bowl. I'm just saying, like, the 49ers Bowl. defense can be had through the air. Ravens defense is very good all around. So, like, it's – we're shocked by four, this 49ers front four, killers, though. And they're, they're linebackers, Oh, 100%. Killers. But they're back four, not killers. Yeah, that's so you the can thing. Get them if, you, if you have – if you can get protection, that's the only way they can be beaten. But uh, – I'm on the Ravens, Drew. It's the same as you, gold pick. And I hope we're right when we're on the same side. Usually this year it was a good thing. But I think the I also think Houston's going to be a very popular home uh, public dog, and that doesn't 100%. play well in the divisional round. So give me the Ravens by uh, double digits in this game. Yeah, I like that. And it'll start our week off right. The early Saturday noon, Saturday game gives us money that. for the rest of the weekend. Uh, yep. Gives us more money to lose. That's what it is. Uh, <laughs> your silver cam switching from the the Raven, or sorry, the 49ers Packers under to just the Packers plus 10 straight up. Explain why. Um, I worry about the total a little bit just because for Green Bay to be in the game, they're going to have to score points. I know a lot of San Francisco fans. Shout out to everybody who watches us. Uh, we got a lot of them, Drew. And I. it's crazy. Packer fan, San Francisco fan, know a lot of them. It's just one of those games where I still think the game is going to be lower lower scoring than people think, but Green Bay is still going to have to get theirs. Mm-hmm. I am the under was fifty one. I think the final score is going to be San Francisco, literally just I mean one point under the number. I think the final score is twenty seven twenty three San Francisco. I'm going to play the exact score uh, in that game, and I'm going to take Green Bay plus the points. I like what they're doing. San Francisco, obviously, is the best team in the NFL right now. I do think they're better than Baltimore. I know that game. Baltimore beat them. San Francisco is still the team to beat. But this is the key to Green Bay covering. Love getting time with those receivers and exploiting the San Francisco secondary. The back door is open with a big number. Say San Fran's up 14 or 10 or whatever. Late touchdown type of thing or field goal. Yeah. And then onside kick. There's a lot. With that number at nine and a half, sorry, 10, we got 10 when we when we bet it. That's a very, very important part to the game. I think there's so many points. And the thing is, when you take an underdog, you have to believe they can keep it close or win the game. And I think Love has the offense to get a backdoor touchdown. They have, it's like when you're betting the Jets as a big dog, you're like, I don't even know if they can get down the field to get that backdoor touchdown. Yeah, and, I get and it. Green Bay, I, 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 I trust them. You know, 
Yeah, I'm on the other side. Like we said on Tuesday, Cam, I like yep. San Fran minus 10. I think yep. this is a, a 33 to 13 type game. Sorry, Packers mm. fans. Um, hey, man, you're allowed to bet. Hey, I, I got San Francisco fans telling me they're going to beat Green Bay by like 30. You know what I mean? So everybody has an opinion, and we'll yeah. talk to each other next week, and there's no right or wrong till we see the final exactly. score. Um, I was completely wrong on the Packers last week, though, so maybe I'm wrong again. And I was um, right on them last week, right? So exactly. Speaking change. of uh, the Packers, quickly, Cam, the ones who beat the Cowboys, Mike McCarthy staying in Dallas, like you mentioned a bit earlier. <laughs> what a stupid decision. Like, I can't believe these guys. They're you know keeping McCarthy and Dan Quim. Like, I think McCarthy <sighs> is a nice guy. And I think that Jerry Jones, this is just my this is my opinion. There's no hot take or whatever. I'm not coming on TV shows and freaking out like these other guys. I just think it's easier for Jerry Jones to still be the boss to McCarthy rather than bringing in a guy with a bigger personality who might bite back at him. Yeah, because but- after a while, you're dealing with a boss you disagree with. You're going to say, listen, you're my boss, but I don't like really what's happening here. But McCarthy will listen. This is the thing, though, Drew. It's not going to be a long deal. It's either he's playing with yeah, but time. to come out cam after week 17 he came out they're like what do you think of mccarthy's future is he secured it they're like oh we'll see how the playoffs goes first you say that and then they get absolutely embarrassed shit on in the first round and you're like oh no bringing him back no, so you then, lied you lied he to said everyone. earlier though that he had he had safety then they went back on the comment and then he hired him again Jerry it's a, it's a, dude, it, it's a soap opera the place yeah, yeah it's, it's a soap it's opera the young, it's actually called dallas like the old super bowl the old uh, soap opera <laughs> dallas that's what it is. There's no it's Debbie. Yeah, Debbie does yeah, Dallas, but McCarthy. Yeah, yeah. That's well, what the, the... well, if there was the cheerleaders were involved, but yeah, <laughs> Dallas and J.R. Ewing is Jerry Jones running the fucking show, and everybody else is like, okay, Jerry, oh J.R. J.R. Don't don't kill us. Okay, okay, we got oil money. At what point of your his sons are you like, listen, Dad? Like you're you're too old for this now. Just let's uh, hand the reins over. I think they have that conversation at lunch on their yacht a lot, and Jerry tells them, you know what, go fuck yourselves. I'm still <laughs> yeah, alive, 100%. and you know what, if you want to put a bullet in me, you're going to be on Dateline. Like leave it, leave it alone, kids. And when I die, you'll take over this team, but just leave me be till I'm till I say I'm done. He's a guy, Drew. He calls his own shots. Yeah, that's fair. Um, all right, Cam, your bronze is switching, or is, your gold was Buffalo minus two and a half. You now your bronze. You don't really have to explain it. That's no, uh, your conference for the Bills. Um, I'm not confident in the Bills at all. I, I, I but here's the <laughs> thing. I think the Bills are a team of destiny. I know that Douglas is coming back. They he could have played last week, Drew. I have a lot of issues with the injuries. But I think, I hope Buffalo is actually saying they're worse than they are. And if they are, I'm very confident they'll win this game. Apparently Bernard, Bernard who got hurt, Bernard who got carted off has a potential to play as well, their middle linebacker. I know, Drew. I I know Klein's so slow, even though I love him. Great guy, like team guy. 28-24 Bills. I'm betting exact scores this week, like uh, (laughs) some guy trying to hit the lottery. I'm, I'm playing. So what did I have for, can you write down my exact score? So San Francisco was you said 28 23 san fran was 27 23 you sure yeah because it was one point under the 50 50 and a half oh yeah you're right and buffalo 28 28 24 and what do you got for uh kc 24 those are my exact scores right now love them all right um should i switch off kc cam should i make the switch Drew, I'm going to tell you something. You're a grown man, and you even have a kid, and I don't. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life. Obviously, you're doing well enough. The kid's in daycare. You're not broke. I'm going to tell you this. You like Buffalo? You got to go with your heart. And I'm not going to lie. Kansas City on a teaser makes too much like obvious sense. Like, How is this game not going to be? I think Buffalo like wins plus by nine four. And a half. Yeah. What is like the most Buffalo can win too. by in this game? Probably 10. If they have a, like almost a perfect game, 10 to 13 maybe. Like Kansas City teased is probably the way to go. Yeah. I mean, I think it's close either way. So I think both sides are teased. I know don't tease through zero, blah, blah, blah. But Whatever I think Bills plus want. four and a half would be uh, a good bet as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, maybe Cam, I don't know. <sighs> You know what? I'll switch it. I'll switch it. I'll believe in my bills for once. Uh, we'll do it, Cam. Is this good I'll or bad? I'm trying to think if it's good or bad. I don't know. You got to do it. You, you know what? Do. Let's be honest. 
Who I'm going to be cheering for the side anyway. I don't like cheering against my team, especially in these spots. So that's even the, if I lose the money on them. That's the thing. It's like, uh, this is real now. You can't be going, oh, hey, I got Kansas City with my bets on the uh, on the, on the the Drew and Stu show. It's like, no, you just take Buffalo and win. Well, no, well, I did have Steelers. I did bet Steelers plus 10 last week, and I thought they were going to backdoor at the end. I was like, I was happy. I was like, oh, that's perfect. They're going to cover. Bills are going to win. They're going to move exactly. on. Exactly. But, but if the Chiefs cover this, they probably win. Which yes, means they'll be upset that's regardless. what I'm saying, unless the Bills win by one or two. So just take the damn Bills. Uh, all right, really okay, I'll do that switch. Now we'll get into our props of the week, Cam, our best props of the week. Uh, we'll start oh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Bronze, Can you go, uh, what's the what other I mean, one? your bronze of the Bills. My, my, my minerals aren't changing. Oh, so I got, I, so, so I got base. Okay, what, my, let's just recap. You Baltimore have gold, minus Ravens minus nine and, nine and a half, half silver, Green Bay, Green Bay plus 10, and, and then bronze, Buffalo. Okay, yeah. I do sides even though I'm betting all totals too. I think and then my gold is Ravens under. minus nine and a half. My silver is the Packers, uh, 49ers under. Or sorry, the Lions minus six, and then my bronze is the Packers 49ers under. Totals. Baltimore to the under. Green Bay to the under. Detroit to the over. Bills to the over. Done. So you like, gotcha. Okay. Viewers know what we're doing. Now we'll go into our props of the week. Start off with the Ravens and Houston Texans game, Cam. Uh, I'll give you my first one. I love Zay Flowers over 51 and a half yards. He's been over 70 in his last two games. Texans are 25th in the league against the pass. I think, like you said, Lamar's going to – like they're going to smoke these guys through the air. And Zay Flowers, 51 and a half yards. He's their number one receiver. I know they signed Odell. I like his over 30. But Zay Flowers is the guy, especially with Andrews back distracting more of the middle of the field. I think Flowers is going to have a field day. I agree with you. I think Flowers is a great pick. Also, the fact that Andrews is back, likely there's going to be always an open receiver. Lamar's just going to find the right guy. So I will start my anytime touchdowns. Drew, you actually gave me this pick. I'll give the listeners credit. Like, I was going to go with Likely, but I'm going to ride your wave. I don't know how healthy Andrews is, but if you give me him at plus 160 for an anytime touchdown, I'll take it. Uh, he could be a decoy. I like, I like the game better, but I'm going to have Mark Andrews. I do anytime touchdowns, plus 160. I love it, Cam. I'll be playing that as well. And another thing I'll be playing is Devin Singletary over two and a half catches. He had three last week when they were winning. He's been over this number in five of his last six games. He is their third down back, their pass catching back. And if they're down as much as we think they are, he'll be on the field the whole time, getting check downs the whole game. Like he could get five, six catches in the spot. I think two and a half is way too low for Singletary. Uh, can you give me something I just, I forgot one player, Justice Hill, whatever his props are, I think I'm going to go over with. I think it's going to be the type of game where Gus will get goal line carries, but I think Justice Hill will get balls out of the backfield too. Lamar's not going to be screwing around. He can't run all the time. And Justice Hill is a scat back. So I would not be surprised if they had quick little dump offs to him. Justice Hill's rushing is 20 and a half, 20.5. What's, what's his receiving? His receiving is not on the board just yet. I want the over on his receiving, and I'll do his rushing and receiving over. But I prefer okay, his we'll receiving. Have to, you'll have to wait till that line comes out. Okay, it's just telling people yet. I like Justice Hill. Don't be surprised if he's a part of this game and not a ghost. That's all. Do you like his anytime touchdown? Uh, give me a number. Justice Hill anytime plus two forty. Know what that tells? It's a bit me. low. I thought it'd be like plus four hundred. You know what though? <laughs> I know why it's low because these guys are starting to think. If Gus Edwards gets these carries, if Baltimore has a significant lead, like you know what I mean, he might be yeah. a part of the offense a little bit more. You know what? I am going to bet that. I'm going to I'm going to bet it at that price. That feels like it should be about three to one, but I will take it at that price. Small play. Yeah, I think it should be like plus three fifty, plus four hundred. Okay. Um, a bit shorter than I'd like, but that's fine. Uh, any more anytime TDs in this game? I think Baltimore is going to get a hell of a lot of touchdowns, but no, I'm <laughs> yeah. fine for now. <laughs> All right, moving on. Green Bay versus 49ers. Uh, my first prop I like in this game is Aaron Jones over 15 and a half receiving yards. Um, he's been over this the last two weeks. They'll be down like they, they weren't. They were up last week. They're going to be down this week. So I think this goes well over the number 15 and a half receiving yards for Aaron Jones, who's been utilized heavily in the passing game. I'm going to go with actually these guys gave me this on a couple shows that I did earlier and I didn't realize it. It's a great bet. Aaron Jones longest rush over 14 and a half. He always seems to have like one rush for like 20, 25. I think he busts a couple. He looks very healthy and fresh. So I'm with you. I think Aaron Jones is a big part of the game. Aaron Jones longest rush over 14 and a half yards. That's an interesting pick, Cam. Uh, I like those. Uh, if you go on DraftKings, they I have the race, it from the guys. race to X yards. I can't lie. I can't lie. Sometimes people give me stuff, and I have my anytime touch, and I go, "Yes, I will ride that pick." So, uh, have you ever seen the, the DraftKings bets where it's race to twenty yards in the I, game I, with the rushing receiving? I, 
I play race to like two goals in hockey, race to 10 points. And, and I do like race to 10 in basketball, race to 20. Like if you like, it's basically like the crack of betting. If you like a quick result, race. Yeah. Right? Like, you know what it's I mean? frustrating. Race. I've seen, I bet it and my guy goes down after 19 yards. I'm like, no. No, exactly. No, the race to 10 in basketball, that is the complete degenerate special. Like, yeah. like literally it's over in a couple of minutes. It's like a horse race. Basically, if you like betting horse racing, you like It's race like the under one and a half runs in the first inning of the MLB. <laughs> Yes. Um, all right. The next one I love in this game, Cam. Uh, Brock Purdy and Jordan Love parlayed over one and a half touchdowns. It's plus 180. Jordan Love's had at least two touchdowns in nine of his last 10 games, which is insane. And Purdy's had two, two touchdowns in four of his last five. I think they both scored two easily through the air in this one. I know I said I think San Fran smokes them. I think the two Green Bay touchdowns are through the air. So give me that plus 180, Love and Purdy, both over two one and a half touchdowns. Christian McCaffrey will have a touchdown in the game. The question is juice, Drew. So how do you attack this? Do you do it with – you could do a same game. I don't think you can bet it, Cam. It's so juiced. No, no, no. You do – this is what we do. This is the beautiful thing about gambling now. It's not like the old days where I had the newspaper and I'm, like, calling out the bets. You go <laughs> – if you like San Francisco to win with him, you turn it into a parlay, right? Or I parlay Aaron Jones touchdown with McCaffrey touchdown. That's the way I'm going to attack it. So if you like San Fran to win with McCaffrey to score, it's still only minus 190. Yeah, that's too high for me. I'm that's gonna, crazy. You know what? Add Aaron Jones touchdown to it and tell me what the number is. Uh, plus 260. My, that's my parlay. San Fran to win the game. McCaffrey touchdown. Jones touchdown. Plus 270. So 260. Oh, 260. See, I'm always trying to. I'm always trying to take. You're trying to get that extra, extra yeah. little bit. I'm like a squirrel. I want ten more nuts. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll take 260 nuts. Thanks. All right. Uh, any anytime TD props from this game? Uh, you tell me who you like for San Francisco because I'm torn on some guys. So I'm probably going to ride your pick. I can't lie to you. I've already bet Jones touchdown. Uh, I like McCaffrey. I'm going to parlay them and add uh, the San Fran to the same game parlay, make it a three banger. But tell me who you like from San Francisco. I will ride your wave. Uh, I like Kyle Jusick uh, to score one out of the backfield mm. cam, a little one yarder or a little like dump off in the red zone. Um, they like to give him the ball when they're right there. If McCaffrey's not, if McCaffrey's tired, he's the other guy who's going to get it. So. Samuel, of course, yeah, but I'm saying I don't. These lines are so short on the San Fran guys, I that's the and I like Kyle Jusic at plus four fifty. That's why I know a lot of San Fran fans. I'm looking at their stuff like they're doing San Fran to win with like touchdowns of multiple guys. You know what I mean to turn them into like respectable parlays because that's the whole problem with the Niners. They're so damn good. You know, McCaffrey, as long as he doesn't get hurt, he's going to get a touchdown. But I like that Jusic call because he's one of those guys. Yeah, blocking back, but he can he he gets a few touches. It's actually a pretty savvy pick. Unsung hero for the 49ers. Uh, and, really and his wife's jackets are very popular all of a sudden, thanks to Taylor yeah. Swift. Um, all right, moving uh, on. Well, their best player. Honestly, if San Francisco loses loses Williams, they're they're not even as close to the same team. When he went out, that's when they lost the three games. Their offensive yep. line is key to the success of Brock Purdy. The guy's of the course. best in the league. Of course. He's not as athletic as uh, like an Allen or Lamar or Mahomes where they can just escape when they have bad O-line play. He's still a pretty um, good athlete, though. He can move. It's not like No, yeah, I'm just saying guy. he's not like yeah. the athlete. Um, exactly. All right. The Buccaneers going to Detroit to take on the Lions, Cam. The props I like in this one is Laporta over 40.5 yards. It's minus 110. It's the third worst pass defense in Tampa against the fourth worst pass defense in the Lions. So I think there's going to be a lot of throwing. So I like a lot of overs in the yards in this game. I like Laporta, Evans, and Amon Ra. Amon Ra, 90 and a half yards, Cam, is his prop. He's been over 90 in five straight games. This prop's way too low. Over 104 of those five. Uh, I don't like how's Tampa slowing this guy down? I love where you're going with this, Drew. By the way, for the listeners, I have an all tight end, anytime touchdown, um, you know, bets and parlay coming up a little bit later on. Mike Evans, over 69 and a half. Yes. Baker Mayfield, over passing. He's going to be throwing it all day. It worked against mm-hmm. Detroit. They're, they also might be playing from behind. And I like, Laporta for a touchdown, Drew, plus 140. Uh, Cam, little sprinkle I'll be doing. Goff, three touchdowns, plus 375. Um, I like that. I think he'd easily throw three touchdowns in this game, Cam. Uh, Tampa's known for their run D. Their run D is very good. So I think they're going to be chucking it through the air. And I think it's Detroit's time to make an AFC, or NFC Championship game, Cam. Like I said, that's why I like the minus six. Uh, I'll be upset, not as upset as if the Bills lose, but like I'll be like pretty gutted for the Lions and those fans if they lose this game. Except... They were booing Stafford last week, and I don't like that. After all he did for your city, you don't boo the guy. That's why he was yeah, at Matt. Yeah, I didn't game. like what. No, it's that, you didn't know the whole story. Stafford's wife has a little podcast, and she talks too much shit, so she should just shut up. That's another thing. Did you see Drew Stafford's commercial for a legal will kit? Probably not a company you want to pick when you're doing it. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You're <laughs> yeah, Drew Stafford. Like, like you do one for like a, like a supplement, a nutrient, like legal will kit. I, I was like, 
me and Gabe were talking about it last night. We're watching fucking Ice Tea and Car Shield, and then, <laughs> and then, and and then, uh, Buddy comes on with his wife talking about. I'm sure Matt Stafford, who's made how many millions in his career, hires a thirty nine ninety five legal will kit. You know what? You know what rich people do? They get a fucking lawyer. Yeah, ding, ding, obviously. Ding, 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 and a good one. Oh my yeah, you think God. he's at I'm 40 guy. bucks. I leave I'm everything to my wife. And yes, yes. <laughs> like, I'm like, the guy with the legal will kit when I have a stroke on the air and go, Cam, you almost, have, okay, give my CDs to so-and-so. Like, you know what I mean? I need a legal will kit. But any professional athlete, if you're buying a legal will kit, like you're obviously, you need help or you're not yeah. making more money than I thought or you have major debts. Anyway. Uh, um, some of the sponsorships <laughs> we see some of these guys do are pretty funny. It's just like, you needed the, the bag that bad, eh? You're just doing that sponsorship. You, Sounds me good. Me and Gabe were talking the Car Shield commercial where like, it's instead of a dead body, it's a transmission. Ooh, can't save them all. And I <laughs> should add Car Shield. It's like, I love Car Shield. <laughs> should have uh, called me before your $5,000 transmission broke. But anyway. Yeah, you Drew, love, I know your favorite is Flex Seal. You would, you would sign up to be a Flex Seal guy for sure. It's funny. I tried uh, Flex Seal. Actually, I, I don't want to get sued. I tell because Steve's a good guy. Uh, anyway, let's just say this: <laughs> when you got a leak in your sink, Flex Seal's not the answer. Well, obviously, I'll leave it at that. I know. Didn't you tell me you tried it on your oven or something? Oh, it basically time? like Flex Seal has got some thing in it. It was like it was like almost cutting, like almost eating into the metal. So I had to hire one of our listeners, Johnny Blaze, came over with his toolkit, and he helped me. And now. The problem is I flex sealed it before and it's getting a little bit, eh, there's still problems, but it's working. Wait, so your sink was leaking and you just decided to spray it with flex seal? It, but, but it was from the handle part. Cause it, you know, the flex seal, it was just a little, like I thought it was going to create a mold to whatever, but the leak just, it ate the metal and it got worse and worse and worse. So we had to bring in real cement. Like, you know, the real stuff. Like the real the caulking sink. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the yeah, real, yeah. Yes. Like, like the water. Pr- Here's the deal. If I'm in a alligator infested bog <laughs> on Seminole river in Florida. And Phil Swift came up to me and said, Hey, Cam, you want to go for a ride in my boat? All we got is this flex seal holding it up. The answer is fucking no. Or <laughs> how far do we have to go in this boat before? Like how much money would you have to give me with a boat held up by tape? If, if that thing goes under, we're eaten by gators. Yeah, a lot of it's money. Just, it's like, what is it? Don't they have like flex seal, flex tape and like flex? Yeah, oh, they got flex spray. They got flex. I, I tried the spray. Didn't uh, do what I thought it was going to do. Yeah. And also I feel like it's like toxic too. Uh, right? like, yeah. You know, I breathed a lot of it in. Have you not listened to me recently? Yeah, I don't think, yeah, it, like I don't think it clipped a couple wires up there. But see, you're, oh, that's why you're choking sometimes there. You're just like, oh, a flex seal. <laughs> so, I know. Like, you know, sometimes I do the show. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot right. of issues, Drew. Anyway, let's, that was a good, uh, good, good segment. No, no legal will kits for the Staffords. Uh, I hope the, yeah. I hope it's a Lions build Super Bowl. So one people miserable people. No, don't get mad at me, San Fran fan. I'm allowed to change. I want two communities that have never had any. San Fran's had enough history of winning, Cam. They don't yeah. need another Super Bowl. Actually, like they've won a Super Bowl in a really long time. Like Dallas. What is it, 96, 95? They got, they got spoiled with Montana. They can get over it. Yeah, those, that's a long days ago if you ask San Fran fan. Uh, yeah, it's a long time for Dallas, too. Uh, Casey at Buffalo Cam. Uh, a couple props I like this one. Yep. Josh Allen over 232 passing yards. Uh, he always gets over 250 against the Chiefs. And I like his under 44 and a half rushing. I know everyone's going to be like, what? He runs a lot in the playoffs. He runs a lot. Casey earlier in the year held him down to this number. And they love to spy him on these third downs when he likes to take off. I think this is where he uses his arm more than his legs. Uh, so give me Josh Allen over passing, under rushing. It's crazy. I don't care. I like the under rushing, over passing. Everyone's going to bet the rushing, Drew, so I understand. Um, I think he still might get an anytime touchdown, but you know the way I roll. I roll with tight ends. So I'm going to take Knox and Kincaid. They went they went back-to-back last week uh, for the Bills. I think they're going to have huge games. Tell me something, Drew, and tell the listeners this one. You actually gave me this information, which I think is vital to people. Talk about a couple X factors. So let's remember, Gabe Davis, their deep threat, is probably still not – he's not going to be there – so we could talk about guys like Shakir and you like another man, oh, Hardy Har Har, to actually yeah. do something. Who's been part of the offense lately? Give him the number. Yeah, I like, I like Deontay Hardy, uh, plus 800 anytime touchdown cam. I think that's a good number. He's their deep guy now with Davis out. He can catch one uh, like 10 yards down the field and take it off for 30. We saw him do it last week against Pittsburgh. He also can return a punt like we saw him do against Miami. So I think he's uh, alive and well with plus 800. And is also anytime, or first touchdown for Hardy's 45 to 1. So I'm going to be play. sprinkling on that. It's a lottery as well. ticket. 20 bucks gets you like almost a dime. You got to go. You yeah. got to roll those. Yeah. 
Yes. Exactly. Um, and then I'll, I'll also take Cam Mahomes over one and a half touchdowns. Parlayed with Great Allen point. over one and a half touchdowns equals plus 240. I think they both throw two in this game. I think it's closer. I think it's higher scoring. I think it's a shootout. So give me both those guys to throw two touchdowns. Uh, and James Cook over two and a half catches. Cam, Love he had it. five against KC earlier in the year. He had four last week. I think uh, if this game's tight, Cook out of the backfield is key. We saw he had 80 yards receiving against the Chiefs last time they played. Uh, so I think uh, that's the issue. They're going to spy Allen. Give Cook's going to be open because that linebacker is going to be spying Allen. I think that's where it works out. Cook. So I love probably my favorite bet of the week is James Cook over two and a half catches. It's one of mine too. Over two and a half catches. I will take over rushing and receiving yards with Cook. Hate to say it, Drew, but we got to take somebody with Kansas City. Kelsey's props are going to go over. The middle of the field is going to be open. Mahomes will find a way to go to him. The Bills have injuries. It doesn't matter who they got there. He's going to get He's going to get his. The question is, how do they – they just got to stop the other guys. Like, Rice can't have too much of a good game. MVS needs to do nothing, that, which he usually Pacheco does. Pacheco can. Isaiah Pacheco, his, his receiving prop is only 16 and a half yards. I, I go over Pacheco, and I like his rushing yards over, too. So was it 61 sure. and a half? Over. With, the, with the linebacker core uh, hurt in Buffalo, I think that's an easy pick for yeah. Pacheco to go over receiving and rushing. So if you like both Cook and Pacheco over the rushing and receiving cam, 85 yards and 82 yards, uh, plus 290. I will parlay that as well, Drew. Basically, it's like my golf bets this week. I got like twenty and thirty dollar bets. I'm be going. Dee, 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 dee. I need like a new account just to like for all these like crazy little things that we're gonna do. So, and it's um, hopefully yeah. after that Bills Chiefs game, it's check mark, check mark, check mark, and not XXX like mine was after that Dallas Cowboys game. Two more things, Drew, before we get to the uh, my uh, tight end parlay uh, individual, and we'll put the parlay together, and you can give us like your super parlay, which is usually very good. Can you give me an exact score from the Detroit Lions Tampa Bay game, please? Like I'm playing, I'm playing what, four exact scores. Give you what I think it's going to be. Yeah, just first number that pops in your head. Thirty-four Detroit. Uh, Tampa twenty. Bay. Twenty-nine seventeen. Twenty-nine seventeen. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to play 28, but I will take play 29 as well. So Buff, Detroit, 29, Tampa Bay, 17. That is 46 and just – no, it's under the number. Hmm, weird. I can't do that. I'm going – okay. Okay, anyway, I'll make my own. Sorry, Drew. And, it's going uh, to finish 29, 17. I'm going to text you saying, you should have played my number, and you're going to be like, I know, shit. You have to play <laughs> it now, too. It's like a lottery ticket. What's Okay, what's Baltimore and uh, – Baltimore – and Houston score. Cause right, I'm playing exact. I'm going to play exact final scores, probably one or two for every game, just for fun. Like a lottery ticket. 41 to 20. Kind of like I was thinking 38, 16, but I don't, I, I can deal with that. Okay. Thanks. All right. Done. All right. Let's get into your tight end. Anytime parlay cam cam loves his, uh, his themes every week. And this week his theme is the tight ends. Uh, so give us your parlay. My parlay is, Dalton Kincaid touchdown plus 260 with Cade Otten touchdown plus 340 with Sam Laporta plus 140 and Mark Andrews plus 160. If you want to add one, Knox at plus 400 to blow it up. But I'm going to play those four and a five banger with Knox. But Kincaid, Otten, Laporta, Andrews. Okay, Cade Otten, Laporta, Andrews. Hang on. Let me put it together for you. Let's see what the parlay pays. What's your guess? 200 to 1. Uh, we'll see. Uh, might be more than that, Cam. Let's see. I think I guess going to add Andrews here. Mark Andrews anytime. Uh, it's not. It's 85 to 1. It's fine. Kincaid, Otten, Laporta, Andrews, 85 to 1. If you add yeah. Knox, then it's 300 to 1. Yeah. That, no, we got to put. Okay. <laughs> Cam's like, okay, we'll add Knox. <laughs> Three hundred to one. Oh man, that would be really cool. Put put like twenty man fifty bucks on that thing. That'd be real sweet. Okay, it would. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, I don't know if both tight ends score for Buffalo, but if they do, you'd be pumped. <laughs> yes. uh, um, all right, let's get into our TD parlay of the week, everybody. Uh, we're each going to pick one player from the, each game. Give us your rundown. I'll give you the odds at the end of the show. We'll both be playing it. If it wins, we all happy. We'll all celebrate next week. Uh, maybe me and Cam will be in Vegas to celebrate the win. So, Cam, right. give me one player from the Baltimore-Houston game that you think is scoring a touchdown. I I have I have Edwards, but you, you want him, right? Oh, sorry, Andrews. Nope. You want Andrews? You can take whoever you want, Cam. Gus Edwards. All right. I will be taking Zay Flowers. So hold on. So Flowers. We got to put this together on it. I like doing this stuff. I'm putting flowers. it together. Don't worry. 
Edwards. Okay. Yeah, I'm just writing it down. Okay, next. Uh, San Fran, Green Bay, pick one player. McCaffrey. All right. That's a lot of juice, but that's fine. Don't I will care. take – Parlay. Uh, I'll take Aaron Jones on the I other love side. love pick. Love Jones. Uh, okay. Now Tampa touchdowns. Bay, Detroit. Laporta. Laporta. I like that pick, Cam. I will go – with Amon Ross St. Brown. I think it's going to be a lot of passing, not the running backs this week. Interesting. So no uh, no, no Gibbs, Gibbs or Montgomery. Montgomery. What about Otten, the tight end? Actually, he's part of our tight end parlay, so let's leave Yeah, don't leave. worry. That's it. Chiefs, Bills, give me one player. Kincaid. I take him every week. Kincaid, plus 260. I will go with... I don't like it. I'm going to go with Travis Kelsey plus six. Or not. The right not, thing not to do. I don't right think Kelsey do. scores uh, in the playoffs and when it matters. So we have, ooh, I like this one, uh, Gus Edwards and Zay Flowers in the first one, McCaffrey and Jones in game two, Laporta and St. Brown in game three, Kelsey and Kincaid in game four. Cam, it is 655 to one. One question: Do you, if you don't like Kincaid from Buffalo, is there somebody else you want in there? James Cook. Gonna, James yeah. Cook would be my other option. You know what? I'm going to put Cook in too. I'm going to do two of them, just split up the units. Because if we lose on one guy, I'm going to lose my mind. And you kind of, when I said Kincaid, because he's part of the tight end parlay, you kind of went meh. So I'll t- I'll put Cook in there. Well, because he just he doesn't score as often as I'd like. He's good. He's good over between the twenties. So shouldn't we put Kelsey in the tight end parlay then too? Yes. I don't know. It's your parlay, Cam. You're the tight yeah, end guy. You know what? I could, yeah, you're right, Drew. I can do whatever the hell I want to do. Exactly. It's my money and my bets, right? So, 650 I, it's my to money one, and Cam. I want it now, J.G. Wentworth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you don't know who I'm not talking about. <laughs> car shield, car shield. Um, car shield yeah, 651, Cam. What do you, 20 bucks pays 13,000. It's worth it. Ooh, worth it. 20 gets you 13K. Okay. That'd be a nice uh, trip to the Super Bowl uh, if uh, they make it. Or you pay off a lot of bills, buy a new dishwasher. That's what, uh, that's what, what happens. That, we've already done that one. But uh, how many? Uh, if the bills go to the Super Bowl, you know how much tickets are going to be, dude, for them going? Oh, dude, I mean, good luck. Good. I luck. might just fly to there. Vegas, though, and watch it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just to be there. Because yeah. I think it'd be a good atmosphere all over the bars around there, all the casinos. Anyways, that's it, Cam. Any final thoughts heading into the divisional round? Are you going to be uh, – you think you're going to be a happy guy this weekend, or you think you're going to be sad? It's a really tough question, Drew. I don't know. Let, <laughs> no, can't we just start it off? Let, let's just start with this. Let's win the first game, get get a bankroll, and then we'll see what happens with the end of the week. I've learned one thing. Like when I won that first game when Houston beat Cleveland, it was a. I go, this is good. And then I did seven bets on Sports Grid. We went six and one. The only one I got wrong, I had Detroit minus three because I couldn't just take money line. I had money line and minus three, but we had Houston, Green Bay. The Dallas over with Green Bay, like Drew, it was mm-hmm. one of those weeks. But then again, I get into vodka and other things, and then I start playing hockey parlays. And my stuff. my and biggest thing, Cam, is I'll have all these bets. I'll have the bets made beforehand, and I'll be like, those are great bets. And then like 10 minutes before the game, I'm like, you know what? Let me throw some more in there. And those yeah. are the ones that lose. I'm saying, why did I do those? Why did I do those ones? It's like. That's what we do, Drew. We, we like when you do it, it's greed and trying to get more. And then I'm like, wow, that was a big mistake betting on the Leafs tonight. Probably should have not done that. Uh, yep, not lately. Anyways, thank you for joining us, everybody. Please click like, please click subscribe, please rate and review on all audio platforms, and please come back here for next week for the conference championship games where hopefully the Bills and Lions both make it through, but probably not, knowing Mahomes is an underdog in the playoffs on the road and he's taking a chip on his shoulder, and I'm going to be upset. You're going to be happy that the Chiefs beat the Bills, and we'll all uh, see each other next week. Be happy? What the hell are you talking about? I, I'd do anything for Buffalo to beat Kansas City, but. <laughs> don't Drew, don't be so pessimistic. This is the year, buddy. Remember, they got to go on the road to your house. They're coming to your house. You're not going to their house. We'll see. This has been Drew and Stu. Follow Drew at Producer Drew and Cam at Cam Stewart Live. May the winners be yours. And all of the best bets hit.